One of the most popular ways to travel right now is right here. This is the all new Rise 18A from Thor Motor Coach. I'm Steve Duval, and it doesn't matter what type of travel you are into. Maybe you are just graduating from college and you're looking to do some exploring before you head out. Rise 18A. Maybe your grandparents, and maybe you have children on both coasts and you want a great way to go see everybody. Rise 18A. This van has everything you could need. And I want to warn you right now, if you do not want to get addicted to traveling, then don't watch the rest of this video. Because when you are done, you are going to love what the 2023 Rise 18A has to offer. Let's open this up because this has the optional sky bunk, okay? So there is a lock. All you have to do is unlock it. You push, there are a couple of tabs right here. Unbuckle those, push in to unlock, and up it goes, just like that. Now you have a sleeping area. We are gonna talk all about that as we work through, but I do wanna talk about a couple of features you're going to want to do before you even start on your travel. Right down here in the footwell is our battery disconnect switch. You're gonna to wanna to turn that on, keep it on, the entire time because that is gonna fire up all the 12 volt systems in your eyes, including your refrigerator. You are gonna want your lights on and you can see we have lights all the way in the back. There are reading lights back here and we'll turn those on when we get back to our sleeping area. We also have Rapid Camp Plus. You have hard buttons down below for the lights. You can just press one, two, three, four, and five. I wanna give you a real quick rundown on how this works because this is going to be the controls for just about everything in here. Starting from our home screen, you can check your tank levels, you can turn on your lights, and you can start your water pump. You're gonna want your water pump on when you are dry camping. You can turn your water pump off when you're connected to city fixtures. We'll do that when we head outside. Next button down, again, just another way to turn on your water pump. You can turn on the tank heater, check your tank levels. Down below that, our awning. We're gonna put that out when we set up camp. Below that, lights. The lights have a dimmer with the slider so you can really set the mood no matter where you are. Lightning bolt, couple of options here. Check your chassis battery and your coach battery and the auto gen start feature is here as well. This does have a 2800 watt gas generator. You can set the configurations of how you want to start your auto gen start. What are gonna be your triggers? Do you want HVAC? Do you want voltage? So go ahead and adjust to your liking when you are done. Just go back home, hit the RV Master app, and when that opens, we have one more button to talk about right down below. That is going to be for your fans. You have a fan in here in the kitchen and the bath, and you can connect it to your phone. Just use the buttons over here to the left. You open the RV Master app on your phone, and now you can control your rise from wherever you happen to be around the campsite, awnings, lights, and if you are out of range, check this out. If you connect to the cloud, you can control your lights and your climate from anywhere. Rapid Camp Plus. Another feature you're gonna love, the Truma Eco Combi. This is going to provide you with hot water. It is going to provide you with heat. It runs right off your propane tank, real easy to use. The flashing camper, that is for your furnace. You can set your thermostat anywhere between 40 and 86 degrees. The next button over, that is going to be for your hot water. You have three modes, Eco, that's 140 degrees, hot 144, and boost, that's 148 degrees. That is what you're going to want to use when you are showering. Take note, when you use boost, it does turn off your furnace. And then you have a couple controls for your fans. You can set some timers, and what the timer allows you to do, let's say at night, you wanna take and turn that thermostat down. You like a little cooler in your rise. You can adjust that so at a certain time the temperature drops, but in turn, you're also going to get your hot water ready so when you wake up, the climate is exactly what you want the water is hot, and you are ready to rock and roll in your rise. So let's talk about all of the features and functions. We're gonna start with this multi-purpose seat here. You do have seat belts for passengers. Love having this table right here. So it just buckles in, folds up. Down below, support rods. Slide your support rods out. That will lock into place. Flip the top over. 
And now you have an area for dining. Maybe you want to get a little work done when you're on the road. When we hop up front, we'll talk about turning your rise into a hotspot with the brand new Uconnect 5. Ram really did a number on this dash. It's phenomenal. When you are done, you just flip that back into place. Put the support rods down. There's a little bar you need to pull out down below. When you do, that folds right down. Take your strap and lock her right back up and you are ready to go. Residential vinyl flooring. I'm looking at it. It's gorgeous. It's durable. It's easy to clean. Storage drawer right down below. Pull whatever you need right down there. Over here, our 12 volt fridge, easily accessible. Right up top, you do have your microwave. This is fully equipped. I know you're thinking, all this in a van under 18 feet? Yes, that's the beauty. This is all under 18 feet. You have room to move. I mean, look at the headroom in here. Okay, I'm just over six feet. Well, obviously with the sky bunk open, you have all kinds of headroom. But as I walk over here, Look at that. You can move, you can get into the wet bath we'll talk about. So anywhere you want to go in here, you can move about the cabin. We have cabinets and storage right over here. Inside the cabinets, we have cable, USB, and 110. And we'll talk about hooking up cable when we go outside. Over here, we have more USB ports. And in order to power those USB ports, a couple of things. And we will talk power again. You do have that 2800 watt gas generator. We have 30 amp shore power and you have a 1000 watt inverter. So you have plenty of ways to power your motorhome depending on how and where you are using it. Let's talk about our kitchen. Two burner gas cooktop, easy to light, turn it to light. Hit the button again, make sure your propane is on to use that. When you are closing this glass lid, lift up and then pull down. Right over here. How about our sink? A little cover for it so when you need more room, you can just pop that in place and then clean up in here. Store silverware, soaps, sponges, whatever you need right down below. There's a ladder here. Well, what are you going to do with this ladder? You're going to access the sky bunk because you have a sleeping area right here and a sleeping area with the sky bunk. So let's go ahead and talk about our sleeping area right here. This easily folds out, moves into place. You slide your cushion over and now you're taking a nap. You're taking a rest. You're taking a break. Ventilation, not a problem. You have a window that opens right over here. All right, there's a little latch. Unsnap that, you just move that, and then you can pull the screen, okay? Then you lock that up. There's another one up here on this side, so you have another window open here. You have zippers with ventilation in the sky bunk, and you have a screen door here that stores right up here, so you have a screen door here, looks like this, and you can put a screen door right here in the back. So plenty of ways to get ventilation for you wherever you are. So let's talk a little bit about this sky bunk. All right, so your ladder is easy to store, just folds out. All right, and you put that right into place. Lock that, and now you climb up to Sleepy Town. You have four USB charging ports right here. Again, you do have the zippered vents. You have reading lights up here. There are even USB ports in the reading lights, so plenty of ways to charge all of your devices. When you are done, you can just take that ladder, unlock it, and it folds for convenience. And then you go ahead and you store it. Just like that, all right? Speakers right here, we'll talk about getting those babies cranked up when you are on the road. One, two, three, four cabinets here. Right down below here, you have your fuse box. You do have your 1000 watt pure sign inverter. You do have your plumbing. You do have your water filter. So everything you need is easily accessible. I wanna talk a little bit about climate in here, first of all, because this does have the sky bunk, you lose the roof AC. So a couple of options. Option in the sky bunk, you're gonna get a cabinet 
air conditioning unit. That's going to be 5.3 thousand BTUs. The on-air roof air conditioner without the sky bunk is 11 thousand BTUs. So if you have the rooftop air conditioner, that is going to be controlled through Rapid Camp Plus. If you have the cabinet unit, that is going to be controlled right back here. The other thing I want to talk about as I'm looking at it, you may be thinking, you haven't even talked about how gorgeous and beautiful the decor is. How about we do that right now? Beautiful setup in here. This is crisp linen decor, and this is modern white Technoform cabinet work. So the nice thing about Technoform is it is a solid, durable, long-lasting cabinet. These are actually made in Italy. Technoform has been around since 65 and they specialize in the marine and RV industry. They're designed to take the humidity, the heat, the constant use. So soft close hinges, plenty of storage everywhere you look in your Rise 18A. How about we talk wet bath? So in here we have a medicine cabinet. We have our fold down sink, our shower, have a light, a fan, a nice door that slides, and we have a cassette toilet, which we're going to talk about when we head outside because this isn't your standard cassette toilet, it's a portable cassette toilet. So when you want to shower in here, you can unstrap it and you can move it. We'll show you how to use it. What we'll end up doing when we walk outside is I'm just going to pull this out and set it on the other side for you. In fact, it's already over there. We moved it beforehand, but it's over there. I'll show you how to use it, how to work it. That is the inside of your rise. As we work our way up front, we have more storage up here. Let's talk about this dash because this cockpit, whew, Ram did it up. Here's just a quick overview of it. Nice, right? I'm going to fire this up. Digital display, going to make it easier to go through. Now, your, your rise is going to be powered by a Ram ProMaster. This is a 1500. XT chassis that is an upgraded 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. It's 276 horsepower and 250 pound feet of torque. Front wheel drive. You have a nine speed transmission on this, 24 gallon gas tank. And what's nice this year for 2023, standard electronically assisted power steering. You have an E parking brake and electronic parking brake. So instead of the handle, you have an E parking brake, heated remote mirrors they fold in. You have rain sensing windshield wipers. You have remote keyless entry. Super easy to drive. 36 foot turning radius. You can park this in a regular spot in a regular parking lot and get in and out wherever you want to go with absolute ease. As we walk through this dash, oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. So many features in here. You have your trip meters and your typical maintenance reminders. A couple of features they have are drowsy driver detection, intelligent speed assist. That just detects your speed limit signs for the posted speed. I love having that feature when you're out exploring new towns, which you are going to do in this Rise 18A. The speed limit will pop right up there on the screen for you, so you'll know exactly what the posted speed is. You can see how fast you are going. You have forward collision warning with active braking. You have pedestrian or cyclist emergency braking. You have blind spot monitoring with rear cross path detection. So what that's going to do is when you are backing out and you know somebody walks behind you or another car is going down the street, you're going to get a little warning and you'll know that you need to stop. So that's another great safety feature to have. And as we walk through the dash here, you can dial it into however you want. You have Bluetooth controls. This one right here happens to have adaptive cruise control. A quick spin through the dash. You can control your mirrors over here on the door sill. You do have emergency start. So what that is going to do in the event that your chassis battery is dead, you can hit that button, press the auto, it's, yeah, push button start on this, and it will pull power from your house batteries and you will jump start your rise. Tow haul mode for that nine speed transmission. Wireless charging down below. I love this. You can just pop your phone in there and you can connect to the all new U Connect 5. I want to talk about everything you have in here. This is the U Connect 5. It's got navigation on it. Connect two smartphones wirelessly 
personalize your options. It works much like your phone where you can put home screen widgets on there. It's going to save the profiles. Sirius XM radio with 360L. The 360L, that is, if you really enjoy podcasts or other sorts of alternative stations, that's going to get you covered on there. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, if your phone supports wireless connectivity, you can do that. And what's great is we talked about taking this anywhere and piping the music through. Quick story. I know how much you love listening to my stories. Wink, wink. I'm using this, not this van, but I'm using an 18A to take my daughter and a friend to a concert. And with this Uconnect 5, it really cranks out. So what you can do is take and turn this into a van full of dad jokes and change all the words to songs about vans. You know, all the favorite hits of yesteryear and today. Heart, Magic Van, uh, Rick Nelson, Traveling Van, even bring it up to speed with Taylor Swift. I'm the van. Your kids will love when you do that. I know. She's 17. That's not going to be embarrassing. Back to the tour. You do that. Dads, you love this, right? You know you do that, dads. Dad jokes. A van full of dad jokes right here. As we continue to go through the screen here, you can go to the home screen and you're going to get a map. And the map is really neat because you can see gas station prices on there. And these days, that's really, really important. Your radio will pull up there with the Sirius XM. You can control your climate from either the touch screen. And what I love is it has a touch screen. It also has the hard buttons down below. That way, if you're like, oh, I don't want to lose that map, but I want to dial in the climate a little better, you can do that with the hard buttons. You have a a couple of maps here. You have the built-in Uconnect 5 map, and if you're connecting to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you can use the map of your choice there. Connect your phone, different information about your vehicle, and some different apps you can use, like Alexa. Do you want to take and order stuff while you're out camping? Or maybe you have a playlist on Alexa, you can pipe that through there, and then there are different categories, different audio settings. Uh, it's really loaded, and this is where you're going to take and turn your rise into a hotspot. There's a little Wi-Fi button. If you press that, and then you can get Wi-Fi, but you have to purchase it, and it tells you exactly how to do that, and then this will take, in turn, your van into a hotspot. A lot of storage up here as well. You have cubbies and places for everything. These seats swivel, as you can see, so it really turns it into just a great seating area when you're visiting. You're sitting here. Guests are sitting here, and it's easier to do when the van is turned around. USB-C, USB-A ports, you have a 12-volt port down below. Really loaded. Ram, congratulations. It needed an update, and you knocked it out of the park. Fantastic job on this. Everything is voice activated as well. If you just press the button, it talks to you, reads your text. You're going to love driving in this. The other thing that I love about the Rise is how easy it is to set up and how easy it is to use and actually how much it stores. You may be thinking, okay, it's, it, you, you've said it's under 18 feet. How much can it store? Take a look at this video right here. See everything in here? That fits inside. And when we get to the back, we're going to start the tour up front, but when we get to the back, I'm going to show you how and where everything goes. Before I do anything else, I want to show you one feature because I think it's really, really cool. No, this is not a misplaced can of glass cleaner. I talked about the wipers, rain sensing wipers. Let's pretend this is the cleanest rain in the entire world. There's a sensor up here. And then when it rains, the wipers will go. I've been doing this for hours. I do it again. Clean your window. Pretty cool, isn't it? So that's just one of the features. I just wanted to demo that. Let me kill the engine only to make it easier to hear. Push button start and away you go. One of the things that Ram did that I really think is cool, especially for maintenance work, this is a three piece front fascia. So it just kind of pops off in three parts. It makes access really, really easy. And so that's why the lights are up here. So they're not going to be in the way when this has to be disassembled for maintenance. As we work our way around, Tires, don't forget to check your tire pressure before the trips. You want to check the tires when they're cool. And in the center dash cluster we showed you, you do have tire pressure monitoring. These are the mirrors, power heated mirrors. They do fold in. 
when you are getting into a tight place or you just want to pack them away. I haven't mentioned the occupant and cargo carrying capacity. I have mentioned this is 17 feet, 11 inches long. You're going to see that in the door. That's actually shorter than a Ford F-150 with your, uh, your eight foot bed. So this is going to be shorter than that. But look at this, 1,404 pounds. Can you believe that in this van under 18 feet? That's an amazing amount of stuff. And you can fit so many things in here. You have nice running boards to help you get in and out. There's a battery disconnect switch we were talking about. Again, turn it on, leave it on your entire trip. Just gonna shut the door so I can show you a few more items down here, down below. You have your low point drain. Right over here is your exterior propane connection so you can hook up a gas grill. You can hook up a griddle. Anything that runs off of propane, you can connect right there. We will show you how to turn your propane on when we get to the other side. A couple of 110 outlets out here. So now I'm gonna set the scene. We have something plugged into our 110s out here. Make sure your generator's on or you're plugged into shore power. So we have maybe a blender. Drinks are getting mixed up. We have the griddle. We're grilling up stir fry. And we have a wonderful awning that comes out. It's a Thule awning. You can put it out with Rapid Camp Plus or you can put it out inside your phone or outside. It comes down, you fold the legs out, attach those to your campsite. How, how beautiful is this, right? This, this is living. This is exciting outdoor rise fun and even more fun when you load up a couple of bikes on this Thule bike rack. What's nice about this is this locks, folds up out of the way, you can unscrew that, and then these connect to your frame. These adjust so you can fit your tires in there. You just take the straps, you lock them down, there you go, bike rack for all your adventures. Fold it up or completely take it off. Whatever you feel like doing, it is your Rise 18A. As we get into the back, a couple of things I wanna talk about. There's the camera for that beautiful backup camera we showed you. You have a hitch down below. Remember, it is your GCWR minus your GVW. 3,500 pounds, you can take and Add some more adventure to that. You do have a four pin connector. As we work our way through here, the screen door just attaches right up here to get that ventilation in. Over on this side, all right, we have, we have props. I, I just have all kinds of stuff to show you. 30 amp shore power cord, nice place to keep it right in here. We will hook up once we get over to the business end of the rise. Right over here, lots and lots of, lots and lots of goodies. 12 volt port. 110, water pump, light. This is for a puddle light on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on for you. And then right down below, this is where you take and you plug in your hose. So the bikes we were talking about or whatever else you have in store, maybe you travel with your pets, real easy to take and hose them off using that. Water pump does need to be on. And another little storage right there for your grill tools. And here behind the beds or underneath the beds rather, Look at that. You have all kinds of storage. You can fit everything in that right here. Everything that you see outside right here. So, and then the bed still goes over that. So you can really bring along a lot of goodies on your adventure, whether it's a long weekend or you're going from coast to coast, all the fun stuff we talked about at the beginning, even have storage nets down below. Let's go ahead and lock this up. Lock that up. And we'll just go ahead and lock that up. This just kind of holds in. And then you just tighten that and then you just take and lock it and you are golden. Over on the business end, we have a lot to talk about. Again, this has the five and a half gallon cassette toilet that you can remove. So we're gonna walk over here, show you how everything hooks up so fast, so easy. Fast, easy, so easy to hook up. You're gonna enjoy Setting up your Rise 18A. Fresh water. It locks 19 gallon fresh water capacity. Just put your hose in. Make sure you're using, make sure you're using a hose for potable water. Once the water starts to trickle out of the vent, you'll know that your fresh water tank is full. And again, you need your water pump on when you are dry camping and you do not need to turn your water pump on when you are connected to city water. Sewer hose. Here you go. I like that this snaps into place. You have a dedicated storage 
place for it. Comes right out here. We'll set this up and you know what, why don't, why don't we just go ahead and drain our gray tank. 11 gallons of gray water. Our gray tanks go to 11. Just connect the bayonet style connectors and then you pull your gray handle and you have successively drained your gray tank. Want city water? Here you go, same hose. Just connect it, turn on the water at the campsite and now you have running water into your rise. Again, you do not need the water pump on when you are connected to your city water. That light switch that we turned on in the back, that's the light. So when you arrive to your destination late or it's dark if you're dry camping somewhere, great feature to have. This is the exhaust for your Truma. We have 190 watts of solar on top. If you'd like to add panels outside, this is where you're going to plug those in. Cable TV, if you wanna put a TV in there, you're more than welcome to. This is where you would connect your cable TV. We talked about our power options, be it the 1000 watt inverter, the 2800 watt gas generator, or your 30 amp shore power. This is your 30 amp shore power. Only goes in one way, connect it, twist, Make sure that the lock is in place. Go over to the fuse breaker box at the campsite. Make sure the breakers are off. You plug in your 30 amps of shore power. You turn it on and now you have juice going to every portion of your rise with the 30 amp shore power. Propane, for that propane connection, for the Truma, you're gonna need your propane on. This is where you're gonna fill it. This is where you're going to turn it on. Just hit the switch. When it lights up red like it is now, you have your propane on and you're good for all the propane action your rise can handle. The wet bath, the 5.5 gallon cassette toilet that you can move out of there when I take a shower. Told you we had it sitting right out. This is it. Real easy to use. Couple of things you're gonna wanna do. So this does have a little pump you're gonna take and you're gonna one, two, three four, five, six AA batteries goes in here. That's going to be the pump for your water. The water goes in here. You're gonna put a little bit of water in there. This controls the flap in here. So when it's to the back, the valve is closed. This is brand new, so I can stick my hands in here and it's fine. You open it and that's how you flush. And again, that is for the water. You can see the jet for the water right there. When you are ready to empty, make sure that that is closed. Okay, there is even a little funnel to fill the water up. I'll put that back here. That's where it goes. It stores behind here. Little switch back here. Move that. The top lifts off. Now you can take and empty it. This is why it was important to close that gray, the gray flap. That's why this is where you're going to go over to a rest stop or a dump station. Unscrew the cap. Have a pressure release valve there and you empty and you are good for the next time you need this. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you. It's on here. Little toilet paper holder, and pretty cool, right? So in case you don't wanna use it inside, some van lifers don't like to, that's how it works. You can go ahead and take this anywhere you want, and when you're done, handle spins back into place. Right back on lock and you are ready to go. Fuel fill is right here. Easy to remember where the gas goes. And this is it. This is your 2023 Rise 18A. Just please try to understand. Try, try, try to understand. It's a camper van. Dad jokes. It's a van full of dad jokes. Post your own in the comments below. Can't wait to read them. If you want to learn more about the Rise 18A, real easy to do. It's ThorMotorCoach.com. I am Steve Duval. I appreciate you being with us and stick around because we'll be coming back at you again real soon. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800-335-6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. 
you will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make-ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?